Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create beautiful, elegant, professional pie charts using UAPath. But here is a catch. So we don't need a browser activity for this. We don't need Excel activities. It's free and instant. I just found this good website called image-charts.com, so which does the job for us. So if we explore a sample use case, we have the URL here. There, this is the this is how the URL will look like. So we have this URL imagecharts.com chart question mark. We have chart of type is equals p. So here p stands for pie chart, and here is the size. It is 500 by 500, which is the width is 500 and the height is 500 pixels. We have the chart data as 60 and 40. So we have 60% of one thing and 40% of another thing. And the chart labels are hello and world, right? So if you just hit this URL, you will get the pie chart like this. It's free. You don't need any logins. You don't need to use a credit card or, or anything. So it's just free. You can directly use it. If you want to upload, you can upload the image. If you want to um, save it as attachment, you can do it or or whatever thing. If you want to send it as an email, you can do it. So, so once we get the image, so we can utilize the image to whatever need we have. So this is how the URL is set up. Right. So now let us start UA path and start exploring of how to create such kind of beautiful pie charts using this website by framing this kind of URL. So we're just going to explore how things can be done. Okay. To explore, we have data here where we have the percentage of time spent on social media by people in 2022. So we have data. So Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Twitter and others, right? So we have this data and the sum of everything is 100%. Uh, so we can still use this as a data for generating pie chart, okay? So, so I want to use this data, right? So how can I do? I'll go to UA path and I will search for build a readable activity. Build data table. So how, what columns we have? We have two columns. One is the uh, platform, right? Just string type. And second is a usage of type in 32. So it's still in percentage, but we can use in 32 because all are just numbers, right? So what do you have? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, others, right? So we'll have the data here. So we have the data here. So let me save this table as uh, DT uh, time spent, okay? So this is the uh, table I have created. And now we're going to play with this table to generate a URL like that, okay? So we can use a simple assign activity to create a URL. So let us start this assign activity with um, URL. I'm giving a name as URL and the value as the initial value, okay? So where it should start with these things. So up to here, uh, it is straight forward. So I'll just give this. So up to here, we're not going to change anything out of it, right? And then, so we're just going to append this URL with the other data, okay? So what do we need out of this? We need uh, the comma separated values of all the uh, percentage of uh, time spent and all the data points, all the data labels should be separated by uh, or symbol, right? Okay. So how can I do this? First, let us create two more strings, okay, to say control okay, data and one more string, one more uh, string variable called labels, right? So initially, uh, this data should uh, should be this, okay? So it should have this data all the numbers split by comma and all the labels uh, should be split by R symbol or the pipe symbol, okay? Right, so here, so let me initialize it with empty. So I'm just going to append it with existing data, right? This is fine. Now, just need to generate this thing, okay? So which is data is equal 60 comma 40. So I'll use a for each 
रो इंडेटेबल एक्टिविटी डी टी टाइम स्पेंड राइट एंड देन आई वुड से असाइन and another as an activity right so here is where i will uh, do this data is equals data ambassador so with existing data what are we uh, adding so first we just need to have this t colon right first that should be there so that should be there as a one time so i would give this as a, a initialization part right uh, and then Uh, we need this data all the uh, data should be split by comma right so i would give here ambassador so what is the uh, uh, column name it's usage right so i would say here ambassador current row of usage dot to string ambassador comma right so this will uh, basically Uh, uh, generate a string of all the data uh, up and with comma, right? Then we have to do the same thing for the labels. I would say labels equals. It's the same thing, okay? And we have the column name for labels as platform. So let me ensure this. The column name is platform. So I would do here platform, but it should join with. um just pipe simple right so we have the data we have the labels and now so we'll just see how it looks like so i'll just put a log message to see how it looks like so i would say info data and i would have another log message as type info and say labels right so this is fine So let me first run this quick project to see what output we are getting, right? So, so as you can see, till now we have not used any kind of browser or any kind of uh, activities um, like like click activity or something. So nothing is done. So it is just uh, plain code, right? So if I check the output, so we are seeing the data correctly. We are seeing the uh, t values correctly, and here also we have t. So that should be corrected. Uh, i think we have done a mistake here uh we would check this okay labels okay here also be given uh data that's wrong here it should be labels right okay labels is equals labels ambassador right i think now this should be correct so we'll quickly do another run right now if we check the output yes we have the data and we have the labels correctly right now uh other one more thing is here we have an extra comma in the end and here we have an extra pipe in the end that we are going to resolve it so how can we do so we can use the trim activity to do that so after this i would say another assign activity so after the loop is executed i would say data is equals data dot trim end with comma right so this ensures that the the last comma is removed so we see in data we are appending by comma and what was the final comma we have to remove right and then we'll go we'll do the same thing for label so it's labels is equals so it's labels dot remind of pipe c so this c stands for single character so just give c after this to ensure that you are giving only a single character here right so this is done <clears throat> now if i run so i should get the output correctly and now we are just going to uh, combine everything to to create a final url and then we'll use http activity to actually download the image right so i'll check the output so here we have the data and the labels correctly right so now let us check how the url is generated 
so we have it like this right so so up to here uh, we have already done it so we just need this information uh, ambassador chd equals this and then chl equals this right so after everything is done so i would have another assign activity and say url okay is equals the existing url ambassador we have captured it till this ambassador symbol right so till till, till this will initialize it so from there we are just going to do the remaining part so we have the url here so we have the data till this part so we just need this chd equals right so we just need this information right this is a constant so we put inside uh, double quotes and then ambassador we have the data ambassador so we have this ambassador symbol as well and chl equals right so that whole thing we have that's a constant right and then ambassador followed by labels right so this is done so now let us do one quick log message to check how the url is formed so url and i don't need label anymore i will delete it right things are done so i will do one quick check to see how the url appears so this output i would copy this and test in the website once to see uh, if it's accurate okay i will go to another tab and type it here so we can see the data correctly right so we have the split up correctly now we'll use an activity called http request to download this image to wherever you want okay so how can this be done so we have a http request activity of course we'll not find it here because it's a part of a package which is not installed by default so click manage activities sorry manage packages and here type uh, go to official and type uipath dot web api dot activities so this package has an activity called http request which we are going to use to download the image instantly so now it's installing we already have a video on this okay on how to use http activity to download an image and i have left the card here above so you can use this card to uh, to see it in detail drag and drop this so what is the url uh, so just for testing yes give the actual url right and then give the time out as 30 seconds which is the maximum time it can take to uh, load the image so that's based on your net connection speed it can vary so it's always better to give a higher time here and response you just need to do this download resource and this image right and then we have to save it here before saving this we have to know what format the website offers so let's go back to the website and right click and save images here we can see the default type is png okay that, that's what the format supported by the website so we can use the same format here i would download resource and then i would create a folder here new folder output and here i would save this as uh, pi chart dot png right so this is a sample thing so i have done and i would click ok right so also i will check how this is done here okay we see here so here in the request url we have the url to download and then uh, of course everything is filled by ua path automatically and here for the file name for response attachment we have the path where it has to be saved so i just test this act alone to see whether it's working fine or fine or not so test activity continue and i would go to this uh, output folder so we have the image captured correctly right so it's working fine as expected great so now we can use this data uh, where we just need to change only one little thing here so instead of this 
uh, hard coded string we just need to use url and a job is done right so now i would run the file so before that i'll go to this folder delete this image so hope you enjoy the video so we can also use a kind of dynamic data generation to create it efficiently and if you really like the video please subscribe and support me thank you